Are my nipples obvious? Hi guys, so a few months ago before 2020 was 2020, I made a video revamping my style and I said I was going to start thrifting a lot more and then 2020 happened. So all of the thrift stores closed and a lot of people stopped shipping on Depop and Poshmark temporarily so that didn't work out. But over time I have finally gotten orders shipped in and I was able to get a few things from Goodwill so now I have a thrift haul. And next week I'll have a thrift flip with a few of the things that I picked out specifically to flip. I'm going to start with things I got online because that's what I got first while everything was still closed. So I had actually pinned and kind of been talking about getting pins just like these corduroy white ones for the longest time. And then my friend Kate, Kate Lee on Instagram, she also has a jewelry business, was selling some of her old clothes and she had these literally in my size unused and I was like okay I need these immediately. It's unfortunately summer right now, but I can't wait to wear these. These are really nice pants. I just love corduroy. Oh, were you talking? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. You ruined. What do you What do you think of my corduroy pants? They're actually really cute. Is this yeah. what you thrifted? Yeah. It's only like I've been saying I want corduroy pants for uh, months. Do you want these ones? <laughs> They're gonna fit me. Yeah, they'll be really cute. No, but I've been saying I want corduroy pants. And I guess know. you didn't get me any at the thrift well, store. Well, it's not like they have them in every size. But did you check my size? <laughs> no. Anyway, I've been wanting corduroy pants. I guess he's also been wanting corduroy pants. So these are also, since the tag is still on, these are originally Crybaby. I don't know anything about that brand, but these seem like really quality pants. And then also she was selling this really cute blazer. And I brag about it in like every video, but I'm a journalism major and this semester I have to do an internship. I do not have any professional fancy clothes to wear to an internship. I thought this one was really cute because you can also kind of dress it down or up. If you saw my what I'm going to wear as soon as quarantine is over video, I paired this with a turtleneck underneath and jeans. If I want to make it more professional, I should probably tuck the turtleneck into something so you can't see my stomach. But I can also keep it cropped. I think this is just really cute. I've been into blazers recently, which is kind of scaring me because when I was a kid, I thought anything that anyone above the age of like 30 normally wore was ugly. I'm becoming my own worst nightmare, but it has shoulder pads and Kate posted a picture in it herself before she sold it and it was actually really, really cute in the picture, so if she can rock it, I think I can do it and make it look just as cute because I kind of copied her outfit anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's originally the brand Shopo and it also seems really nice quality. I guess get yourself a blazer. Those also are not that hard to find in thrift stores for whatever reason, my thrift stores. I'm from Arizona where it gets to be about 120 degrees. A lot of older people or just people in general move here from cold places and they realize they don't need their winter clothes so they donate them. So I have an abundance of winter clothes in all of the thrift stores that I go to. So that's everything that I bought from my friend Kate. From Depop, I bought this little cherub shirt. It's got little naked babies on it. This also still had the tag on it, but I do not recognize the brand it was originally from. I honestly was looking up like Cherub and like Angel Baby in the search bar just because I have a necklace that has a little Cherub on it. And I've been obsessed with just the whole Cherub aesthetic and everything, so I really like this one. It was a nice find. It was actually pretty expensive considering sometimes people inflate their prices on Depop quite a bit. Also from Depop. So I got this shirt from Depop. It's pink. It's got some little fluffies on the front. What's weird is it was labeled as a size small when I bought it like off the shop. And then when I got it the tag said medium and I was like oh my god it's not gonna fit me. And then it's actually super super tiny so I guess the girl was right in labeling it as a small because it does fit. I think it was unused. I think she said she only wore it in the picture, but she did remove the tag. I thought this was a great find because it's a color I like, but it's the frills and everything is quite out of my comfort zone, and I don't usually wear this kind of stuff, and I, <coughs> and I want to. I took some cute Instagram pictures in it, and yeah. Next. Oh, these I was so excited about. So I, f I randomly found this girl on TikTok who was like putting her Depop out there, so I followed her Depop because I was like, okay, maybe she'll have some cute stuff. And she posted these all together for like a really good price. So I got these three shades. There's a red and gold pair, a pink and silver pair, and a gold or gold, yeah, yellow and silver pair. She put them in the cutest little pouch with like a cleaner and everything. And I've just been obsessed with the tiny glasses aesthetic, but unfortunately a lot of times they're really expensive from fancy shops and everything. So 
So I'm really happy that I was able to find three different colored pairs for as cheap as I could and honestly in pretty good condition. These ones were bent a little bit, but I think I can bend them back when I put them on. See, they're like, but I can just, I can fix it. Also, this girl's username is Boogie Toes on Depop, and she does put together a lot of cute like bundles that are like Y2K or 90s inspired if you want to look at her Depop. Really cute, and she was really, really nice to shop from. All right, next is everything that I bought from Goodwill, and this is all of the stuff that I plan on flipping. But I'll start with this slip skirt. This ended up only being a dollar because it was a blue tag, and it was blue tag sale day. This was supposed to be three dollars, and somehow it came out to one dollar. Cute. It has a little slip in the side. It's definitely long, so I kind of want to crop it a little bit and then line the inside so that I can wear it as an actual skirt rather than just a slip. And if that fails and I can't line the inside, then I just have a slip skirt that I can use in the future anyway. There were a few that I was thinking about in between, but I really liked how this one had the little like V cut in between it. And then I didn't even realize you could buy this from Goodwill until I was watching other people's like thrifting hauls and their flips and everything. But I literally just bought fabric, like this whole yard or two of fabric was three dollars from Goodwill. This is what I'm going to use to line the skirt and then I also have another idea of what I can use this for because this is honestly a lot of fabric. And I'm guessing this would have cost me like five to ten dollars a yard at my local Hobby Lobby versus it was three dollars for this entire thing. You will be seeing this fabric in my thrift flip video and I definitely suggest if you go to your local Goodwill to try the fabric section or even like the curtain section because I've seen people take curtains and make them do something really cool or just if you need curtains. I found this in the men's section. It's a really big ASU shirt. I go to ASU but I was a transfer not an incoming freshman so they didn't give me any free t-shirts so I only have one ASU t-shirt and I feel really bad that I'm gonna graduate there from there and I only have one t-shirt. So I bought a really big one for the men's section and I'm going to turn it into some sort of tube top or something cute that I can wear if I ever go out and need to rep ASU. It also is kind of the perfect amount of worn in and everything already, which I was excited about. And of course it was $3 versus it probably would have been like $30 at ASU to buy this shirt. I was on a mission to find something probably exactly like this because I found a video that gave me a really good idea. So this is just an extra large men's white t-shirt. It was $3, not stained at all, really thick material, and I'm going to flip it into something really cool that you guys will see in my next video that I'm super excited about. It's going to be really complicated, but it's going to be really worth it if I can do it. But perfect for flipping. Also so weird because I mostly bought men's stuff, but like I had a bunch of women's shirts in my hands that I wasn't sure about getting, and they were all like $6, and all the men's shirts I had in my hands when I was shopping were $2. Goodwill, what are you doing? These four items will be featured in my next video about thrift flipping, so stay tuned for that. I also ordered a few more things from Depop that are delayed shipping, so I won't be getting them for a few weeks. But let me know if you want to see another haul when I get all of those. Oh, I do have, I don't know if, I might honestly film the thrift flip tomorrow before I put this up, so this might be too late. But comment down anyway. So I have a pretty yellow red dye. And I'm debating if I should dye this yellow for what I'm going to flip it into or if I should just keep it this nice white color. So comment down below if you think I should dye it yellow or keep it the white for now. Yeah, let me know what else you want to see from me. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye! I heard you say I'm not the baddest, but you lie. It ain't my fault.